been a while since I had a wind direction going in our favor. Look, there's no waves. That's how you know the wind is blowing the water out. We have half hour before low tide. And I literally, again, have about a half hour to do some searching. So I'm heavy foot traffic today, I'm moving fast. Dress light. I'm gonna check a couple of hot spots out to see if we have anything popping out. Yup, 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 yup. That's my garbage area. I'm gonna go down there first. What's that out there? Ah, there's a guy out there fishing already. I'll check out that spot when I come back because that'll be here. I want to go down here where the low tide shows up stuff I haven't seen in a while. Morning, mud. Well, the sea glass guy in me has to love this piece right here because it's very rare to find that color. Well, I didn't get 10 feet till I see this guy. And that is another rare color. Oh, I dropped my yellow. And those two guys. Huh, that's strange. Not so rare, not so rare. Maybe that's a good sign. Of what? I don't know. all the time. Oh, she's in tight. That guy was chugging on this thing hard. Yeah, we'll get her out. I'm not pulling on it too much. I'm stuck. Look at this. There we go. Just wrapped around it. That was never coming off. This is what I've been looking for. Look at where it's situated on the beach. I'm searching all this mud, but things get washed up and buried right here. So just before the mud starts and the sand ends, we do have an old bottle right here. I have found these before. I'm not really sure if it's completely intact, although it sure does look so. We have the embossing here. This is very typical of early 1900s to about 1920. I love the top on this. And it is intact. Look at this thing just sitting here waiting for me to grab it. A French and Company, New Jersey Red Bank. What a fantastic find. This is a winner. I'm glad I snuck out for the half hour I have. Why was it sitting all the way up there? Just sitting in the sand. This place is always giving me bottles, but it's been a while since I've retrieved any from here. And this is a good one. Look at you. All right, fantastic. Excellent. Great, great color. In phenomenal shape. Look at you. It's a mantelpiece.
So it's an interesting section here where they plowed out. I'm not sure if they're gonna do more of a parking lot here or what, but we did find enough pieces on the ground to designate potential old houses. And I do know that the old houses were here. There were old beach bungalows that were here. And looking for surface finds can tell us really if this has the potential to search with a detector. And I think it does, although we didn't find anything fabulous. It certainly had enough on top to send me back with old glory. It's weird. I love the smell of dirt. You love the smell of dirt? Yeah. It's, it's kind of weird. I love the smell of marbles and old figurines and old glass bottles. Is your dad the coolest guy around? Of course. Well, good answer. All right, let's go get my detector. No. All right. Oh, I thought that was a bar marble, barble, What's marble, barble. Well, we're back, and fortunately today, as I'm peering at this little open piece of property here, today we have a good, good three or four hours available to hunt. It's three hours before low tide. The wind's in the right direction. You can already see how flat the water is and hopefully the tide already looks like it's out a bit even though it's so far before the low which is good for us we just need to see some sand pulling out erosion plastic not really sure how's it look this should be all stones right here, huh? Yeah. That's the infamous lighthouse. I like how calm it is. Could be calmer. I guess we're gonna walk down there first, huh? Hmm. Well, I can't say it's a bad start when you pick up a piece of glass like this. Look at this beauty. It's just like I grabbed the other day. It's yellow glass, which is very rare. And look at how nice the design is on this piece. Let me see if I can get a good shot. There you go. That's a great little find. I just hope it's not the best find of the day. How cold is that water? Look at that. A lot of bait fish out there. Well, we're not picking up anything dramatic yet, but this is always a good sign. Nice old early 1900s fuse. <clears throat> you can see the copper and the glass. 125 volts. Brings this area a little bit older. Now, it's not really turning out to be a super hot day, especially because I just found this buffalo nickel, then dropped it in the water, and it took me about another five minutes to find it again. So we did get a buffalo.
Now this may not be the greatest looking spoon out there, but it does have something written on it. That's always intriguing. Can't read it right now, but I do like the script. It's got old written all over it. And with this being on the older side, and my brother just pulled out an Indian head penny, I think 1890s, we might be onto a spot. Uh, first target, new spot. Just got a bunch of weights. And, oh, it's good condition, 1890 Indian head. Get you a good shot of that. There it is, eighteen ninety. One of my favorite coins. Is the man the myth? Okay, I just got a really good high signal, which I was hesitant on, because usually these don't come up as high, but I just pulled out a really nice old silver ring. Now, unless there's a mark there, I unfortunately think there might have been a pretty nice sized stone in there. But we're just gonna be happy with the fact that we might have a good spot here, and a ring is a telltale sign. Excellent. I don't know if that's a design or something. Hard to tell. Well, that's a great ring.